there are two things you need to know about the Shroomite Helmet, one good and one bad, and how they interact with each other. First, the good bit. Unlike most stat buffs and armor or accessories, Shroomite headpieces' bonuses are multiplicative, not additive, meaning they're a lot more potent. But what does that mean? Let's say you have a ranged damage boost of plus 70%, and you're about to equip an accessory that boosts ranged damage by 15%, say the Ranger Emblem. When you equip the accessory, your ranged damage boost goes from plus 70% to plus 85%, an increase of plus 15%, pretty standard. This is an additive boost, which is what most boosts in Terraria are. Additive boosts work relative to the base damage, not the post-boost final damage. So the difference between having equipped and not is less than 15%. In this case, it would be a roughly 8.8% difference between having the emblem equipped and not. Meanwhile, multiplicative buffs are just the opposite. Multiplicative bonuses apply relative to the final damage, not the base. This makes them much more potent, and their potency relatively increases as your final damage gets increased by other additive boosts. With an additive plus 70% damage, a 15% multiplicative boost would be equivalent to an additive boost of plus 25.5%, and at 100% damage is equivalent to plus 30%. Being multiplicative, this means the Shroomite headpiece's boosts are much more powerful than their 15% boost implies, relative to the other boosts in the game, meaning that you really, really want to use them. However, this is countered by the second bit. You may know that ammunition has a ranged damage stat, just like weapons. Most boosts in the game apply to both the weapon and its ammunition, creating a single uniform boost across both. However, the Shroomite headpieces, being specialized, only apply to the weapon, not the ammunition. This means that relative to other boosts, the Shroomite headpieces are a bit less effective, as the boosts apply to less damage. And as the ammunition becomes relatively stronger compared to the weapon, the Shroomite headpieces buffs become relatively weaker, as they apply to less of the total damage. We can draw the conclusion, then, that it is possible that our ammunition is so relatively powerful that the loss from the Shroomite's boost only applying to the weapon outweighs the gain from the multiplicative bonus, even at high additive damage levels. The prime example of this is the Shroomite Helmet plus a launcher, like the Snowman Cannon. An Unreal Snowman Cannon has a base damage of 77, and many Nuke ones have a base damage of 75. As you can tell here, the ammunition makes up almost half of your base damage, and remember, that half is entirely unaffected by the Shroomite Helmet's boost. The math works out that at a typical crit chance and enemy defense, you need north of 200% additive damage in order to make the Shroomite Helmet better than the Adamantite Mask, which is the next best helmet. Yeah, that's an unrealistic amount. At standard additive damage amounts, the other mask will edge out the Shroomite Mask by about 4 or so percent. That's pretty significant. Most launchers like the Snowman Cannon, Electrosphere Launcher, Jack-O-Lantern Launcher, or Rocket Launcher suffer from this issue. They have nearly 1 to 1 weapon to ammo damage ratios. In this case, it is better to use the Adamantite Mask versus the Shroomite Helmet. If you don't want to get Adamantite, hell, using a Hollowed Helmet would still be better. It's one less Shroomite piece you have to craft, so just do it. No one uses a stealth anyway. As for the Shroomite Headgear and Shroomite Mask, it's more of a mixed bag. Bows and guns have a much better weapon to ammo damage ratio than launchers, typically around 3 to 1 to 6 to 1, instead of 1 to 1. You will still need some DPS for the Shroomite to be better, typically around 40% for guns and 60% for bows, but in these cases, the Shroomite headpieces will be very, very slightly better. So, in conclusion, you can say three things. One, if you're using launchers, don't use a Shroomite helmet. It's generally going to be much better and cheaper to use the Adamantite mask or hollowed helmet. Save yourself some work and resources. The only time you should be making a Shroomite helmet is if you plan to main the stinger or nail gun. 2. The multiplicative bonus of the Shroomite set isn't what it seems. When looking at it on paper, it seems almost uniquely broken, but this ammo trade-off almost cancels it out in a way. It's a lot weaker than you think. It also doesn't help that the Shroomite Helmet has 5% less crit chance than its Adamantite counterpart as well. Since crit chance works like a multiplicative damage buff, this is pretty significant. And lastly, 3. Even when using the mask with bullets and headgear with arrows, the benefits of using Shroomite are marginal, especially with non-DPS builds. Note that the CC% percent and defense values I've used throughout this video are already rather generous to the Shroomite headpieces. If you weren't buffed with high CC or using I-Core, the Adamantite mask would be even more effective. Even when using bullets or arrows, it still might be better to not use Shroomite. 
The on-paper damage loss is minimal, and this opens the possibility of using multiple weapons and mixing armor, while increasing flexibility at low damage levels or with tank builds. Whether you want to use the adamantite mask over the shroomite headgear or mask is your choice, but if there's anything we can agree on is that the shroomite helmet is almost always a bad choice. And that is the case against the shroomite helmet. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing as it helps support the channel. Thank you to Bacon Fry for helping me process the math of this video. Your help was much appreciated. Either way though, thank you for watching, and good day and goodbye. See you next week.